Hello everybody! Welcome to the Twisted Beanstalk. I'm going to give you a small lesson on mixing paints today, seeing how it seems to be a popular topic. So, I haven't even really thought it out before I started making this video. <laughs> I guess I should have done that. Um, so, basically what I do is, now there's a lot to learn when you're when you're watching me paint because I'm actually a self-taught artist. So the colors that I make, um, is very easy for me to mix them and come up with new colors. Uh, so sometimes that can be really difficult depending on your uh, knowledge for, for colors and how it's going to turn out. Um, for, for example, if you were to take a kit and you were to start with blues and you'll do, you know, you'll do blues and then you'll do red and say so you put yellow on top of that. Well, you have to think about what happens when you mix blue with yellow? What happens when you mix red with yellow or red with blue? So you're basically combining all the colors. <clears throat> so sometimes it is easier just to have your like step-by-step -step colors. You can usually get through it a lot faster and um, you don't have to worry about mixing too many shades. A big reason why I do mix my own shades again is because I make so many different kinds of babies so my color palette is always really different um, let me see I don't even have one that's really finished this one's like halfway done um, uh, let's see you can see the uh, the color difference on those guys um, you know, one is going to be a vampire, one is going to be a pixie. And so I'm constantly mixing up my own shades. But uh, the more you do it, the more you get used to it. Uh, let's see. So I don't even really know how to show you because it really depends on what doll that I'm making. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if I explained it well enough. So basically the colors that I have on hand, maybe I'll show you that just to start with, um, and what I like to have in my dishes. So generally I like to have, uh, okay, so this color is a new color because I was making an Asian baby, so that one doesn't really count. So generally I like to have purple, blue, pink, um, a red, a, a, a definite red, opposed to the pink, because sometimes you can get a pinky red or a magenta, but I like to have red. And then, let's see, um, and then I have a pink here for blushing. I also always keep my dish full of thinner because I like to rinse my brushes every single time. Sometimes I'll use the same brush, so I'll rinse it and then wipe it off with the cloth. I do that a lot. Um, so as far as the colors go, I do have quite a bit of different colors. My favorite is the Genesis Heat Set Paints. For newer people that don't really know the steps of reborning, you do actually bake them to cure the paint on a low heat. Uh, for seven minutes, not seven hours, because I've done that before. And yeah, so let's see so I have white I always have a big thing of white because I go through a lot of it um, some of my favorite I'm just gonna go ahead and show you some of my favorite colors so this one is Vitello blue 5 this one is white um, I also love this color this is a Vitello blue 8 now by looking at these colors, you can easily buy these two and you don't even have to buy that one. You could just mix them together, mix a lighter blue, but I just find it to be faster to have that. So this is my all time favorite paint. I go, I use this all the time and it's a dioxazine purple six. I love that purple because you can actually mix it with a white and it'd be like a thicker paint um, instead of like an opaque, like more of like a clear washy color sorry I don't really know the the proper language language uh, here's a red a bright red um 
I like this color, but I don't use it that often unless I'm doing a really thinner layer just because you have to be careful with red because sometimes it'll go blotchy. Um, I don't know, or it rubs off more. I, I, I don't know how to explain it. So that, and then I do have a dioxazine purple too, which is a dark purple. I barely use this one, but I have it. Sometimes if I'm making zombie babies, usually the zombie babies, I'll use that. I always have a green. Let's see, this one's almost gone. This one's Fatello Green 6. So this one for me is a must have because I do like mixing like a teal or a turquoise sometimes. This is another one that I use every single time I make a baby. It's almost gone. Yellow White 08. So these colors I basically swear by. Those are the ones that I mostly use. Um, and then the other ones are just like extra in case I want to switch it up a bit. Here's another Fatello Blue. This one, look at this one. There's like, I use this one all the time. I forgot about that one. So there's that. And then, I mean, I have like tons and tons of paint over here, but those are the ones that I mostly use. And then of course the, if you, if you want a thinner layer of yellow, instead of the yellow white, which is going to go on thicker and you want a, like a thinner layer or to be more subtle, you can use the Genesis yellow. And then of course the gel, the Genesis thinner, the Genesis satin varnish. Um, I also really love the glazing gel. If you mix glazing gel in with like a thinner and like mix it up, you can put you can texture the baby really good with it and seal it up at the same time but anyways these are my most used colors and basically what I do with these specific colors is I'll have them in jars but I'm constantly mixing them together so I'll put in just enough to get through maybe one or two dolls but if I like if I'm for example if I am using purple but I need a darker purple and this is too light sometimes I'll take out this purple and mix it in another uh, jar and then take my blue and mix blue into it or if I needed a little more of like a periwinkle I would take like a purple and then like a red and and mix it together so I'm constantly mixing constantly if I need my yellow to be thicker I can put in white or the yellow white um, the green I'll mix in with the blue a lot of the times red I like to mix in with white to make pink or you can use quinacridone quinical quinica quinacridone <laughs> quinacridone quinacridone <laughs> okay I do not know what the heck focus focus you a-hole camera I don't know how to pronounce that but it's a magenta 3 it's a really nice color I like it but anyways yeah I just wanted to come on and kind of show you what colors I love these are Genesis paints uh, I'll put in the link in the description for you guys so you can get easy access to my favorite colors if you want and uh, I just want to say Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell if you want notifications. Maybe give me a little like, even if you hate me, just because it's funny. If you want to be funny, hit that like button. Okay, I guess I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye!